Hello, I'm Michael from Ecolog in Sweden here. Uh, right behind me here we have uh, Ecolog 580. And on this machine we have a uh, Logmax uh, 6000 here. And uh, when you have that mounted on this machine here we have a 10 meter crane. Calls on the way to the 6000. So it's always an option of uh, the crane length and uh, how big of a head you have. Uh, you can also use a uh, 5000 head on this machine with a longer crane. Um, 11 meter crane. Um, we can uh, move on over here to the machine. Here we got some storage uh, departments. You can have a good place down here for a toolbox. Uh, we have some storage up here. Here you can store your tools and you also have uh, chains and bars for your head. Uh, down here we have the diesel tank. We have 450 liters fuel diesel. Um, this machine is equipped with some fire suppression system which is required in Sweden. So if you're not using this system, you have even more room here to store more tools and parts and hoses. Um, what Sorry. Uh. <laughs> That's uh, the fire suppression system. Yeah, and what is the name of this system? It's called DOFU, and that's an automatic system. So if you get a fire, it will automatically um, explode and, and uh, spray over the machine. These machines are built on pendle arms, and uh, now the machine is lowered down. I have an easy access here on the machine, so it means it's very easy to walk up on the machine and climb into it. We have a cabin uh, with the door opening in the front here, so that makes it really easy. So if you park it on a trailer, you always have the straight access into the machine, going in and out. Inside we have a computer system, and that computer system is made out of a company called DASA, and that's. Uh, several options of uh, the advantages or the advanced level of the computer. We can have a really easy program that it's easy to set up length and diameters for uh, just for for especially your market. It's easy to set up the length and the diameters and go cutting. In Sweden we have more price bucket system and that's more complicated. So that's a good thing we have options of the computer. So that makes it easy. We can continue around the machine here. And over here we have a hydraulic department. Uh, from the front side here we have uh, the hydraulic tank. Underneath the tank here we have uh, four pumps. You have one pump for the crane and you have one pump for the head and then you have one pump for the rear transmission and one pump for the front transmission. That means that when you have a pump for each system you can easily travel by the machine and work with the crane at the same time and you can also work with the head and doesn't affect the old flow. That's a big advantage so you can actually gain time, production is important and uh, the machine really works fine with all them different pumps. So, um, the cabin is mounted on a swing plate. We have uh, two motors, hydraulic motors, that makes the cab turn and that makes it uh, a high torque or power to swing in the trees. So, um, also you can see on this machine we have a central greasing system. So we have hoses to all greasing points. That's an extra option of course. So if you don't have those hoses coming to each point, you have a standard grease nipple and you do it with a hand pressure gun. You can see here on the side of the hydraulic tank, there's a black box here. There we got all the electricity. You have all the fuses and relays for the machine. If you're coming over here to the side, this uh, compartment here folds out. That's an easy access here. Inside here I have the AdBlue system, which is for the 4F engines that we're using in Sweden here. So right in here we have 45 liters of AdBlue. Underneath here we have the batteries. It's very easy access for the batteries. You have an easy access point here if you want to put some jumper cables. If you're out of power, you can just connect the cord in between another machine. So that's uh, a real nice feature. It's easy access and it's really comfortable level of work in here.
if we look in here we have the new installation of the Volvo engine and um, all the service points are easy access on the side here. We have the oil filter, we have the fuel filter, we have uh, for filling oil, we have a dipstick and we have a free, free fi fuel filter over there. On top of the engine here we can see the, the pump system for the central greasing system. And over there we have a filter that takes water and small particles for our hydraulic oil. Uh, if we look down in here we have a fan that comes from a Canadian manufacturer, it's called Flexair. And um, these wings are adjustable wings, so when you don't have a, a cooling a need for cooling, the blades are straight and just turns. And the more cooling need you have, the more the blades are turning. And then every half an hour these blades turn the opposite way. That means that it cleans itself, it's blowing out all the dust from behind. And then it's go back again and suck in the air for cooling. So if we go around in the back here, we can see that um, we got the coolers standing here. We got an intercooler for the engine. We got a big hydraulic cooler in the middle. And we got the engine cooler for the water. So, and um, when we have this reversible fan, we can actually, yeah, we have a, a, a lot less uh, maintenance here because it's cleaning itself. So it keeps the temperature low on the engine and on the oil. So that's a great feature now on the new E-Series. Over here we have the after-treatment uh, exhaust. So there it takes care of all them uh, and, um, yeah, after-treatment systems. So we also have a compartment uh, to store even more, more things with you. I usually have my hand grease gun here for uh, greasing the head. It's a warm compartment and uh, that's good when it's uh, winter and it's cold outside you have your grease gun heated up so also you can store some extra hydraulic oil that's usually what I do uh, we also have this machine equipped with uh, some uh, fenders here that uh, protects you from uh, falling trees so it really holds up for a falling tree here so protect your hood Keep the machine looking good and nice. Uh, underneath the cab here, uh, we have uh, you can take away these plates and rubber here, and underneath here we have the valve bank, and that controls the crane. So it's a K170 valve bank from Parker. You can also put out the pins here, and you can jack it up the cab, tilt it forward. And that makes you easy access to the swing bearing and also the slow motors. The machine got a, a 360 position of the crane so you can actually turn the whole head back against the engine hood. But there it stops, you can go from that point all around 360 degrees and back to that point. So it makes it easier, you got the different positions of loading it on a trailer depending on if you want to have the head forwards or backwards. So that's about it. Um, you want to step up in the cabin? Take a look? Yeah. So. We got some levers here that you control the head with. And uh, you can do different setups. All the buttons here are programmed. You can set your own settings of, of keys. Of course, we have a standard system that we are using called Echo Standard. And um, we have some smart features also to operate the head. For example, just using the sequence operation, using the grapple open function and close. I can actually grapple open and the head will tilt up. I will grab again around the tree and I hold the, the button here and it means that I'm going to cut down the tree, it's going to fall over, I let go, and then I press again and it will feed and cut automatically. So the only thing I do actually is I hold this one for cutting, feeding, cutting, feeding, and once I let go everything stands still. So it's kind of a safety thing. When I'm holding it, I'm in fully operation. When I'm letting go, it's complete. Everything stops. So that's a good feature and it's easy to work with. And then I have different buttons for different three species, just so I can control what species I'm working, so I can see my follow-up. 
I got the main big screen here where I can make the overview for what trees I'm, I'm uh, cutting and dimensions and length. And then down here I got an optional uh, an, <laughs> a second screen where I have my data for the engine and the crane settings. So here I can make some settings for speeds of the crane, also overview the engine. I got some buttons on the side here, controlling my lights, my crane functions, engine RPMs, things like that. Did you film anything when the machine was running here? So you mm -hmm. could actually see how it's working? Yep. It's, it's very easy access of this, you have that in your handles too. So you can use the, the levers that you normally work the crane with. You hold a different button and you use this one to, li to lift up the machine and to lower the machine again. And while driving you have a smaller joystick that you can turn to keep yourself level all the time. This is fully manual mode, so you look on the ground in front of you and you compensate with using that lever all the time so you drive straight all the time. It's very difficult to have these automatic things because if you have an automatic sensor for it, you need to start falling down before it actually compensates. So I really like to use it manual because I'm seeing how the ground looks like and then I'm on my way to lean it over in the directions I need to. And um, of course you're always trying to stay as low as possible because then you got greater stability. But if you have uh, obstacles, big stumps or big rocks, I mean you can lift the machine up, you can drive over it. And um, yeah, the benefits of all having these pendulums are, are huge for different type of terrains. If you have a big slope, you can drive into the slope on the side hill and um, put the logs down for the forwarder to the end of the slope and you can just drive in directions that wouldn't be possible at all with a normal standard machine. So you have one arm up, you have one arm the other direction, so that way you can go sideways in a slope. Dumping system on the cabin? No, we don't have any dumping damping system on the cabin. It's just regular rubber that holds it up. So it's no hydraulic suspension as we have on the forwarder. But you don't really need it because you never travel that fast with a harvester. So, I mean, you're standing still, cutting trees all the time. You move slowly forward, you take the next tree all the time. A forward is a different story about driving on a road back and forth all the time. It's strong. So it's about making a system that actually slides good in and out and it also to hold up. So it's about strange in the grain, uh, so it doesn't crack. Is it called ER system? No, we don't have a name or anything on it, so it's just different sizes for different models. So bigger, smaller, longer, shorter, so but uh, more than that we don't have a name for it. <laughs> You sit in here and then you have a button over here that you activate and then you press that button and the machine goes up. When you want to go down, you push there. And then you turn the key and then the crane is like normal. And if you when you're driving the machine, you always use the crane and this little joystick here. You tilt this joystick the way you want it to the machine to tilt. So just yes, if you wanna lean to the left pull it to the left or the right so it's a pretty easy system to use it's like a computer game or something it's pretty easy okay